Well, everyone, somehow, some way, we have survived the wolf attack. And after a day's full rest, we're looking pretty good. Anyways, everyone, welcome back to the long dark. And so far, we have survived for around 14 days, and today we are going to make our way back to Coastal Highway to hopefully craft up some very nice supplies. Now, I will say, I really want to leave as quickly as possible, so we are going to be heading out in the night in which the temperature isn't that bad. I'm going to go check out that church right down there. We're going to loop back through the mines. And hopefully there won't be any wolves to kill me along the way. I will let you all know if I find anything cool like any more wolves that want to kill me. So far though, the coast is clear. <laughs> you, you really gotta do this to me, wolf. I was about to say so far so good, but obviously it's not too good. We're gonna run away a bit. Please keep your distance. I just want to check out the church, okay? I'm gonna shimmy my way up to the side and go check out the church without activating my match. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, he is really mad at me. Also, there's a mine shaft in here. I'll go check that out after the church, which is right over here. We also lost the wolf, which is a very, very nice relief. Oh, on top of that, we also have some more birch saplings, which is more arrows for the future. Give me all of these. Oh man, this trip has already been worth it. Aside from the hypothermia, of course, that's still pretty rough. But more importantly, we have nothing. A newsprint, a fire barrel, which I might actually start. The weather's getting very bad out, and honestly, I need the warmth. So you know what? Let's start up a fire. Just like that. Okay, that's going to be going on for an hour or so, and we can warm up pretty nicely around here. Is there anything else inside this church, or is that quite literally it? Okay, that's actually going to be it, everyone. Well, at least we have a fire to keep myself warm. And in order to get the most use out of this fire, I am going to be warming up some tomato soup. And lastly, some teas. Because what I can do is transfer them over into my thermos. Okay, let's go check out the mine after we grab some more torches. Okay, cool, we made it over. I have no idea if this connects to Coastal Highway, but at the very least... I, you know what? I should have really made the fire inside here, huh? <laughs> Hindsight really is 2020. Anyways, we have some coal in here, which is always good to have. We have a workbench, a nice book for frontier shooting, and a few other bits here. I'm going to go check out this entire mine shaft, actually. Because not only is it a good resource haul, but it's also a good spot for me to get some of my temperature back. Oh yeah, we have so much coal here. On top of the coal, though, we got even more wood matches. How many do we have at this point, actually? We have around 100 matches, which means I think I can be a little bit more forgiving on myself when it comes to using the stuff up. There's also a chocolate bar, more coal, a torch in perfect condition, and finally, we have an exit on the other side. Huh, I don't know where this actually spits me out at, then. Oh, it actually puts me on the other end of the, uh, processing plant. Which means I could have been using this as a shortcut the entire time. Well, I guess we now know, for the future. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm gonna go loop back through, cut through the end entrance, and then we will move on to the actual coal mine. Oh, and there goes my torch because of the wind. Alrighty then, it was nice while it lasted. I'm gonna drop them off now because they are just weighing me down.
Would you look at that, everyone? We have reached the light at the end of the tunnel. I have went through Coastal Highway, cut through the Mine Connector, and we are finally back at the midpoint between Coastal Highway and Desolation Point, which means I'm gonna have to avoid a wolf on the way. We're a little bit more warmed up, our condition bar is a little bit worse for wear, but it's not the worst, and I think as long as I keep my head on my shoulders, we should be able to just run through just fine, hook through the lake on Coastal Highway, and make our way back home to actually recover. And then it's gonna be a whole bunch of crafting. By the way, I really want to be quick with this one because of how quickly my temperature bar is dropping. So, as long as I don't get jumped by any wolves on the way, we should be chilling. <laughs> get it? Chilling? <laughs> Sorry, I'll see myself out with that one. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, oh, no, 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 please, 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 please! Okay, hey, calm it, calm it, calm it. Okay, that's gonna be a torch gone. You know what? That's fine. I am alive. Oh, man, that was almost it. That was almost it. That was the end of my life, potentially. I need to go home. I really want to go home. I'm done being here. Oh, 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 man. Wolves, they really know how to creep up on you, man. They really, really do. And of course, what a perfect time for a blizzard to kick in, huh? Oh, there goes my torch. Okay, I need to move right now. This is going to get very, very, very bad very quickly. We do have adrenaline shots, and I do have... Uh, actually, let me drink this right now for my thermos. Yeah, get that rose sip tea. There we are. That should keep me going just a tiny bit more while I figure out what the hell I'm going to do here. Okay, I know if I follow the edge of the coastal highway, we should be able to reach the island base. Uh, not the island base, but one of them, as that's my only hope right now. It's my only navigation tool, so let's use it properly. You know, I have to be thankful about one thing, and it's the fact that we do have this water body here to keep me kind of grounded. I have no idea where the hell I'm at, but it's better than nothing. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Okay, that could have been bad. That could have been really, really, really bad. I need to make it home right now. I am on death's door. If we see any island, we know to go up it. You know what? That thermos that I found is probably the best thing I've ever gotten. Yeah, no, it's been able to keep me warm. I'm still navigating this place. I have no idea where the hell I'm going. I'm honestly just hoping we come across a structure. Oh my gosh, please let this be it. Is this an island? I think it is. I have no idea if it's my island, but we found one. <laughs> oh man, I am so thankful right now. Okay, hopefully this will be the spot and we can just rest up for the rest of the day. Where is this house at? If there even is one. I might be on the mainland and I wouldn't even know. Okay, there's actually a road here. This bodes terribly for me. Well, that means my only hope right now is to follow it down in hopes that it leads somewhere nice. There's power lines. There's stop signs. Where did I spit myself at? Please let it be the town. I deserve a small break right now. Anything to release me from this hell. Well, everyone, I think this is it. This is how I die. I have taken such a wrong turn throughout the world. I have no idea where the hell I am right now, where I'm wandering, what to do other than just to cling to this road. But I will say, I think I'm going to need to pop an adrenaline shot. I don't think I will survive without it. We will just continue pushing on. Tiny bits more, though. There's got to be an end in sight, whether it's my own death or something actually nice. Wait, wait, wait. Holy hell. Holy hell. Holy hell. That's that's a house. Oh my lord. We actually made it, everyone. <laughs> okay. We got a little bit turned around in the struggle, but we made it to the coastal town site, which means our house is right over here, everyone. I am shook. I am so thankful to be alive. Get me inside right now. We're saved. We have water to eat. We I'm sorry. We have water to drink. We have food to eat. I am I'm shook that I actually survived that everyone. But here we are. 
<laughs> I am so thankful right now. Okay, I am gonna devour some cattail stalks, and we are gonna be cruising right now. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna start up a quick little fire inside here, and we can go cook up some of the food inside, or I guess outside the house. We're alive, though. I'm probably gonna spend the rest of my day here, because, yeah, no, I'm not going out anymore. That was terrifying. I do know I said I was going to wait to see you guys tomorrow, but I decided to stop here to let you know what I'm doing. I am cooking up these rotten potatoes right now to hopefully be a little bit more nutritious. And on top of that, I do want to craft up some hooks and lures for future fishing. Because I feel like that's going to be a very good way of achieving some basic food. Anyways, we have some cooked potatoes here. We're going to eat up actually pretty well, especially with how, you know, terrible this food is. And hopefully we should be a lot better off come morning. Oh, I'm also crafting up a whole bunch of tea as well. So we're going to be drowning in prepared rose hips. Actually, you know what? Screw what I said before. It is really nice out in terms of temperature. You know what I'm going to do instead? I am going to go sleep at my larger little base. It's clear out now, so I can actually see where I'm going. And what I can do is transfer over a torch to start up a fire in a different location. The only other thing that I would really want right now is to warm up some coffee. So let's go do that very quick. Chug it and we should be chilling. Yeah. Okay, cool. We are now ready to head on down to my actual spot. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm actually doing this, it's pretty simple. We spent a lot of time indoors doing the foraging, so I would like to offset it by sleeping as much as possible within my snow shelter. Oh man, it is insane how, how different the atmosphere can be compared to a blizzard versus how it is now where it's just completely milk toast and very clear out for me. It's a nice change of pace. We're gonna avoid the wolves like always. Yepers, there it is everyone, right in the distance, my home. Oh, you can see my cabin up there, and it looks oh so glorious. By the way, there are a lot of deer herds out here, so I'm really hoping in the future I would be able to capitalize on them and actually hunt them, because that's where the real food and supplies comes in. Anyways, I see it in the distance. Let's keep on trucking. Well, 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 it looks like there are... A There it is. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Okay, that's going to be a free rabbit right there. More meat. That's really good. Okay, the other one is right over here as well. Hey there, little guy. I don't have a stone right now. Give me one second. Wow, you can get really close. And also, that was the... I, I am really losing my touch, everyone. I did leave my torch off in the distance, by the way. My house is right up over there. But I really, really, really want to get some rabbits, you know, before I do anything else. There it is. That's going to be two more for the road. I am going to be very stinky. That's going to be fine, though, because we do have our torch. I also recognize this place as not the place I want to be, but I do want to head up very briefly as there are some pelts that I want to grab before I move over to my proper island, which is down there. Hell yeah, it looks like the rabbit pelt and gut cured. That's going to be more crafting material. Okay. Now I just gotta make it home. I am gonna be drinking some birch bark tea along the way, actually, so I get some passive health regeneration. Giving me some restored condition that should keep me going all the way in for the home stretch. Oh, hello there. What is that? It looks like a wolf carcass appeared on shore, but I'm pretty sure that's a trap. Also, hey there, little guy. Uh, I'm gonna go move around really quick. I have a torch out. Why don't you go give your friend a nice little visit? I got things to do. I got places to be, you know? Please get away. Please. 
please get away, little guy. Please get away. You know what? No, it's not going to be good enough. I'm going to throw my torch on the ground. You are, you are so close. Okay, you know what? I'm not messing around. I don't have any rocks. I'm going to get out of here. Go, scram. Go, 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 shoo. Alrighty, that's going to buy me a lot of time. And I do feel like that was a small bit of a... Please don't follow me again. I, I just want to go. <laughs> oh, man. This sucks. And he's right back on me. Okay, you know what? If you want a rabbit, you can have one. I'm not being greedy. There you go. Have it. It's free of charge. Yep, there goes my dinner meal. No way this guy... No freaking way this guy just ignores my rabbit. Are you kidding me? There's no way. He just ignored my rabbit. I want to scream right now, but I'm in no position to because I need to get home. Have it. I don't care. I need to get home right now. Okay, okay, okay. There he goes. I was going to be so damn depressed if the wolf decided to just ignore my meal, by the way. And if you're wondering why I decided to... No way this guy's after me. Go after the rabbit. Oh, man, what a bastard. Leave me alone. Uh, you know what? As soon as I get my bow, I'm killing you first. That's all I can say right now, because holy hell did he ruin my evening. And he continues to ruin my evening with how much he's been trying to follow me. I bet he's also going to go and kill my rabbits. Oh, go right ahead, Mr. Wolf. No, please step right on over me. Oh, man, I'm almost home, though, and then I'm going to start a fire indoors, and we are going to sleep for, like, eight hours. We're here, though, everyone. We've made it over. I'm going to start up a fire. There is no way this wolf kills me here. Please! Oh, oh man. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Okay, we got a fire going on for three hours. He is right behind the tree. Get the hell out of here. Go. Go. Okay, cool. We've made it home, though. So now what I can do is cook up all of our meat. I'm going to go cook up some of my rabbit meat, and we will go to sleep for an hour. I will see all of you guys till then. Holy hell. What a crazy trip. We went through a blizzard, we got hunted down by wolves, and we almost died like two different times. Hopefully, though, this is the point where we can actually, you know, start to start to thrive rather than die. I'm going to wait for my rabbit meat to cook up. I'm going to go drop off some supplies inside, and I will actually see you tomorrow this time. I'm no longer bluffing. <laughs> oh, man, am I glad to be home. So yeah, I will see all of you guys then. Okay, you know what? No, it's personal. This guy just killed all of my rabbits. I heard them screaming. I'm gonna get my torches. We're gonna scare this guy off. I'm gonna get my- And I am gonna get my rabbits back. Where are you? Right now. Show yourself. I sprained my ankle. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, man, today's not my day. Okay, we found another. There are multiple wolves on my island. I think I'm going to sleep indoors for tonight. But uh, before I do, you need to go. Okay, this is my rabbit. That's mine. Get the hell out of here. Go, scram. Okay, that's one less wolf to worry about and another rabbit to gain. These wolves are actually sieging my house, by the way. It's bad. It's bad. It's so bad. I'm going to sleep indoors for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, no, screw that. I'm going to get my fire's worth out of this thing. And yeah, I will see you guys till then. Okay, we have finally survived another day, everyone. We are now on day 15. Aside from the absolute trip we went through today with me traveling across, getting sieged by wolves, getting trapped in a blizzard, we have gotten quite a few good things. For one, all of our birch bark saplings are finally cured up. 
two, we have our rabbit pelts cured up and our guts, which means next episode we can actually craft up the bow and arrow and other things as well. It is a long time coming, but we have made it, everyone. Holy hell. And I think this is going to be the start to something great. I do need to skin the rabbits as soon as I get the chance to, but I will do all of that next time to where hopefully things should be a lot more chill. Anyways, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. I will see all of you guys later. Peace out, everyone.